It is certain that in the coming years the people of Hales' desire for independence and their desire for peace will meet with terrible hostility. In the inevitable conflict we must unite or be drowned in blood. Standing resolute against the rumbling powers at their borders, the Kai townships have always been a picture of provincial simplicity. Their stalwart Republican traditions and fearsome guerrilla tactics have guaranteed independence since the death of JRL and since the collapse of the Eastern Phoenix Empire. Since its collapse, they have yet to rise to any real importance in regional politics, instead acting as a series of buffer states between the Qom Empire to the south and the Shia to their north. Unlike many of their neighbors, the Kai harbored no particular animosity towards the elves left in the wake of the Phoenix Legion's hasty retreat from Hales, instead integrating them into their republics. The largest of these fledgling communities is in Asgare's own Citadel of the Dawn, an old Jahirian stronghold still occupied by the descendants of his soldiers. It is from the stock of these elves that an unlikely figure would rise to become Lord of Asgare. In 1438, Hyderian Tonanzuir, a Sunrise Elf who had faithfully served several generations of Asgare lords, was elected as Lord of Asgare, the smallest of the four townships. An Elf of unending ambition, he began to reform nearly every aspect of the state, culminating in 1441 when the newly formed Shining Lancers, a legion of elite elven cavalry tracing their roots back to Jahir's legion, soundly defeated the combined armies of Kao Elnak and Lo Nguyen in the Battle of Lekton Mai. Hyderian's ambition did not end on that battlefield. He returns home to Asgare with renewed fervor, dreaming of unity. With the calm to the south in the midst of a brutal civil war which transcends the boundaries of mortality, and the Shia to the north threatened by a renewed push from the Hobgoblin command, there has been no better time for resurgent elven rule. Will Asgare remain a final footnote in the history of elven rule on the continent, or will they blossom anew to build a final, peaceful Halesi Empire. Welcome everyone to yet another Aminar playthrough. Uh, I feel like the Aminar playthroughs are doing pretty well on this channel, so I think I'm just going to run a couple of them at the same time. So for this one, obviously, um, as you may have been able to tell from the intro, I'm going to be playing as Asgare, this tiny little nation right here. We start with four provinces in the middle of Hales with, uh, well, not much to our name, really. We start out with 6,000 troops, uh, one of which is a cavalry regiment, and not much else. Uh, so let's check out who rivaled us, right? So we have this guy, this guy, and this guy. So that's perfect, actually. I would like to rival all three of those. So let's go ahead and do that. Then uh, these guys, we want to ally them, for sure. For sure. And we also want to start improving relations with them as soon as possible. Let's open up all these tabs. Very nice. And we want to do that because of our mission tree, by the way. Um, now, we start off with Lord Hyderian Tonanzuir. He is 75 years old. He is an elf, immortal, long-lived, and he is just, which is very good. He's only a 3-3-3, but we can improve that. Okay. So we're going to start out by focusing on military and immediately hiring an advisor. Uh, we'll take the morale of armies guy. Better than discipline early on, because morale is better for winning battles, whereas discipline is better for inflicting more casualties. So discipline is better in very large wars, uh, but morale will win you the battles. Let's reduce maintenance. And here we can immediately click our first mission, gather advisors. So, the Sons of Asgare, we can basically get a cheaper advisor in a certain category. Well, we always get the Manpower guy, really. Um, but we also gain a permanent stat increase. So we're going to choose another mill point. And this makes our guy uh, a 334 immediately on day one. We're also going to tour the towns. Whoa! Very nice. We're going to lose some power, but we're again going to gain another point. So we're going to give up 50 admin and diplo. Uh, to get another mill point. We're going to garrison additional watchmen to shield against banditry and looting. Seems like a prudent plan. Okay, good. Now, uh, we also need to have at least two cavalry and 80% of our force limit. And then we will get claims on one of these nations. I think it's this one. 
We also want to visit an old friend, uh, for which we need uh, 200 relations with uh, this guy and an alliance. And we also want to uh, diplo dev Asgare as soon as possible. Uh, but right now it's not possible yet. And yeah, so for now, let's do the estates. We're just going to grab one point for now. We're going to grab another military point. Uh, we're going to seize land, obviously. And we're going to just uh, give out some stuff like uh, supremacy over the council. That should be a good one. And we will do increased levies. That will make the nobility loyal. The clergy is almost loyal already. So we'll just give them one little thing, uh, which is oversight by the clergy. Then we have the merchant guilds. They are already loyal. Um, let me see if there's anything I want anyway. Probably not. No, that's fine. Uh, the adventurers uh, are at 40. And the mages at 45. Uh, let's do patronage of the magical arts. Although that does cost crown land. No, we're not doing patronage of the magical arts. But what we are doing is generous quest rewards. Which also cost crown land. But it's necessary. It is simply necessary. The mages, is there anything we can give them that does not cost crown land? We could do spirit speakers. Meh. Meh. I think we're good. I think we're good for now. Uh, I'll give them this as soon as I have some crown land to spare. Um, so yeah, the first order of business is just to uh, wait a little bit, really. Uh, we can also start looking for some other allies. It would be nice to have more than one. But no one is really going to be very enthusiastic about that early on. Uh, we could try this country. But they're way up there. I think these are kobolds. Yeah, gold scale kobolds. They have a pretty cool mission tree as well. Might try them out someday. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. We're just going to speed three and let time roll a little bit. Ah, here we go. Citadel of the Dawn. It's a fortress that was built in the days of the Phoenix Empire, which under Jahair spanned from the coasts of Divinhall to the grand city of Chan Lu, where he was assassinated in 1136 due to his mismanagement of his diverse Halesi subjects. Whole lore thing, you can read that if you want, but it comes down to we get another point. So we're going to go and take the last military point. We now have six military. Uh, or we should anyway. Yeah. Which means we're now uh, producing 13 military points Per month. Uh, so that's really good. Uh, we can now also uh, improve relation. We did it before the end of the month. So it's fine. And as soon as we can. We're going to start developing this place a little bit. Um, but we'll wait a couple months. Maybe years. Before we do that. Now, we have an extra merchant, but we don't really have anywhere to put him because uh, this is an origin node, meaning that trade only flows out of here, not in. So we could send him here to collect, I guess. Let's do that. Maybe we'll get like a tiny little bit of money out of it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we got 0 0.01 ducat extra per month from that well that's something i guess we're not very likely to enter into this node anytime soon because all of these nations are uh, vassals of one nation jiang liusi this is the one shia area we're right on the border of that so expanding to the north is going to be really tough uh, at least for the foreseeable future then in the south we have these countries which are at war with each other war for the mantle of bailon bailon shin so that's the, the, the Com Empire thing. They are all fighting each other, I think. And we're going to just basically right in the middle with a few of these other small township nations. These are the two we defeated um, in 1441, allegedly. And they will also be the ones we defeat next, I think. All right, we have arrived in 1446, which means we can now click this button. We're not going to yet, though, because the reward for this... Um, well, we need to pay 50 ducats for them, but we get two cavalry units, which will bring us up to eight. But right now, I don't want to pay for them yet, because then I will make like only just over half a ducat. Uh, I want to do that basically right before we go to war. Uh, what I do want to do is have another look at this alliance map mode and see if we can 
convince anyone nearby, anyone at all, to uh, potentially become our friend. What about Bim Lao? They are big. That would be nice. But they are far, far away from uh, from allying us. Honsai would be pretty close, but they are losing their war. Well, actually, they look like they're losing, but they seem to be winning. Let's improve relations with them for now, and maybe if they win, we'll have a nice ally in the south. We have a monopoly company. Let's take... Uh, let's take this one. Yeah. And uh, we are also going to start developing a little bit our capital. So let's turn on encourage development. And we'll start with a dip. Boom. Boom. We just need one more Diplo. And then we again have enough development to click this mission. Which will give us local goods produced plus one. Which will definitely help our income. This should already help a bit as well. Yeah, well, not that much actually. We're up to 1.19. Let's see here. Lose 10 prestige or 50 mil power. I think we'll lose the 10 prestige. We have an elven minority growing in Asgare. That's fine. We like elves. Let's actually see what the makeup of our country is. Um, so we have 94% humans, 5% elves, and 0.9% harpies. Okay. Uh, who we actually coexist with. They uh, they like us. We also have... Uh, well, 0%. Well, actually, we don't have anything else. But we also like dwarves and gnomes. We like halflings and harimari, which are cat people, I think. We like kobolds, surprisingly enough. And all the other things we, we don't really like. Um, but that's all right. So on my other playthrough, uh, I'm playing as Keterata, and I'm doing more of a like a imperialist uh, playthrough. But in this one, I want to create like a tolerant metropolitan society, you know? like uh, These are the good guys, the good guys of Hales, basically. Uh, that's kind of how I see them anyway. So that's what we're going to try to achieve. The mission tree is not that long, but I feel like it might get longer. Because there's an event called Further Ambitions that will uh, fire once we click that mission. But like, this is just the early stuff. Also, eventually, pretty soon, we are going to turn our, uh, our uh, ruler here into a general. He already has six military skill, which will help with his pips. But we're not going to do it before we get uh, this religious power thing. And we are going to choose the land leader shock plus two, general cost plus 33. Bim Lao declared a war right next to us on... Yeah, on the guy right next to us. That's a bit annoying. That is a little bit annoying. Perhaps we can get a humiliate rival out of it, though, if their army gets destroyed. Because they have no allies. That would be pretty nice. Let's see if we can speed up the relation improvement here. I already offered the military access. I don't think there's much else we can do. I don't want to send them money, obviously. We don't have a lot of it. Oh yeah, let's do two more dev clicks. Uh, boom, boom. That brings us up to 22. That's pretty good. Making them 1.34 now. Of course, we also are still running the edict, so that's also costing us a bit of money. We'll have to keep an eye out on when I can revoke that. It's going to be January of next year. A lot of stuff going on in the east over here. Honsai is still technically winning. Let's see how this war actually looks on the diplomatic. Oh, wow. That's a big war. It's definitely a big war. So this whole area is like one country. It's like a oversized Korea or something. Okay, we can click this. So let's immediately do that because we just uh, improve our income quite severely. All right, all right. That's like 0.3 docket per month extra. Very good. Uh, we just got a skill 2 advisor, a trader, for 50% of the cost. Too bad we cannot afford him yet. Only two ducats. Very sad. We have, um, from our national uh, traditions, two extra possible advisors. So that's pretty good. Foreign plots. Wild rumors are circulating about our nobility plotting with foreign powers. Hmm... I think we go 
in the interest of roleplay, justice above all. Actually though, this is much better. Let's say we found out they were actually plotting, right? Let's take them out. And this is just, you know, public opinion. I could definitely use me some ducats. It is almost time to revoke the edict on the 14th. There we go. No edict anymore. And now we should be making quite a bit of cash. Yeah, more than two ducats. That's good. That's good. We need to get back up to 50 for missions. Particularly this one. We also need another 50 admin. But we have some time because we need to wait until we get 200 relations with these guys first. So, not much fighting going on here. I think they're just sieging each other. A mercenary kingdom. Interesting. What are we? A township. Yeah. Township, township, township. We're all townships. They're a lordship. Yeah, they are definitely losing now. They have no army anymore. So I'm actually going to declare my first war here. Um, I'm going to train up two infantry. Um, oh, let's do it there. That's quicker. Do like so. They don't have an army at all, so I can already start the war. We're going to do just humiliation. Um, let's get our diplomat back from uh, Juan Sai, Hon Sai over here. Confirm. And let's just... Um, go like that. Oh, well, that's going to be a very easy war. I didn't even need to build those troops. So yeah, I think we'll do a show strength here to get a bunch of monarch points. And it will also uh, complete the humiliated rival thing. That didn't used to work, but uh, I think this is 1.36 or 1.35 it does. We got the siege in one tick, so that's good. We didn't even need to build those, uh, those bloody things. We could also take the province, but actually we can't because we did humiliate rival as a war goal. So show strength is just the better option here. Boom. Now let's go back. Uh, let's take Miltech 4, because we can. Actually, let's wait, because I don't want to give our uh, neighbors a tech bonus too soon. Okay, let's do that, and reduce maintenance again. We're still, we're almost making three ducats. That's pretty good. We just need to wait for some money. Oh, we're no, not making two ducats anymore. I guess that's because we were looting. Should have probably uh, finished looting that entire province. Oh well. Uh, we could do this one, but then we have to wait three years before we do more stuff. So I think I'll do that after this first conquest war. We better not be at war. Oh no. Yep, we're just gonna wait a little bit. Bim Lao is a huge threat to us, by the way. I really need to get rid of them. They are allied with Rukakin, who also have 11k. Oh, we can now select our way of faith. That's good. Let's take the two land leader shock. Plus two. Very nice. We now have a 52 uh, power prediction also, which is really good. And it's ticking up for some reason. No, because we have long-term long, uh, long uh, rivals. Let's um, send a scornful insult to one of these guys. Uh, probably you. Yeah. It will cost us five prestige. Oh, we cannot do it because we don't have positive prestige. I'll just send a normal one then, that's fine. Um, I'll also embargo them both. Just need a couple more months to get to 200. 200 relations with the Rapnir, that is. Sadly, we only get one per month. It's uh, really not going quick. Uh, issue embargo. 14 military generation per month. Okay, we need to take this now, otherwise we're going to lose innovativeness. I still have a bunch of military power left over. 
Uh, we just eclipsed someone. That's good. Probably this guy. Yeah. Very nice. Do I want an improved relations guy, maybe? I can afford him. A little bit. Ah, it's just five more months anyway. Uh, I think I'll take Patrons of the Arts to get some more prestige. Translates to morale and aggressive expansion reduction. And it also makes this go faster. Okay, I think I'm going to click this mission now. Very good. Meaning we get a permanent claim on all of this. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Who is Nagon? Nagon is down here. That's fine. And you have more allies. That's also fine. We're going to be attacking you. Yeah. So let's increase our maintenance. And let's check out our army tradition. It's not very good. But we're going to make our guy into a ruler anyway. A 4522 Hyderian Tonanzuir, gentlemen and ladies and other Ambanar enjoyers. Uh, we can now click this. A welcome addition to our court, which means basically vassalizes these guys. So we now have 10k. We're on Miltech 4. That's the only one really around here. Uh, except our biggest threat here, Bim Lao. Uh, we have a morale advisor and we have a great general and we're about to have an army with three cavalry um, so yeah we're uh, going to declare this war very very soon here and then we're gonna absolutely ruin them Honsai is actually victorious do they still like me yes they do Ooh, let's ally them very nice also uh, these guys the, the, the dwarves here they rivaled me very unkind of them so let's rival them right back okay we are outnumbered here but i don't think it's big uh, a big problem because we out tech them and we out general them and we have our vassal here to help us um we are also going to click this now oh why can i not click it Oh, we need to have our cavalry in Askare. Okay. Let's walk back for a second. Okay, click. And now we also have permanent claims on this guy. Which means it will all be cheaper to core when we inevitably take it over. So let's put my man Hyderian Tonanzuir in charge. And let's declare this war. Uh, we're going to do a war of conquest. I'm going to confirm, and we're going to go straight in on the grasslands with our general. And, and, and... Ooh, we did not wipe them. Uh, they are running. Um, let's do like so. Let's tell our vassal to just uh, be supportive. And let's siege down this one province here. Okay, they went into the grasslands of their capital. So we will follow them there. And, oh, can we catch him? No. Okay, can we catch him there? I hope so. Okay, no, but we will definitely be able to catch him here. And we are back at full strength just in time. Let's hope we roll well. Could stack wipe them here. Which we did not, sadly. Now, the problem is that they are also running um, over here. Which means they could all come back at the same time. Which is not a good thing. Uh, not a good thing at all. Well, I declared on these guys, so let's siege them down first. They also seem to be... Um, building more troops, which I am not a fan of. Just have the level 1 fort though, so let's send our cavalry and the rest of our troops here to siege and loot and send four guys over there. I don't want you to attach to, attach to them, I want you to attach to them, yeah, good. Uh, we might go into a little bit of debt during this war. We will have to see. The corruption of the Lotus Court in Denin, 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 Denin,
Denijan Raj. Big country over here. Uh, well, not really, but they have a lot of uh, vassals, as you can see. <laughs> and they're also at war with the command. Well, big stuff. Big stuff. This province, by the way, produces gold, which is really nice. So we're probably already getting some gold. Uh, yeah, we're getting a full ducat worth of gold just from occupying that province. Hey, do you want to join? Oh no, you have debt and you have war exhaustion. It's understandable. I just need your help against Bim Lao later, to be honest. Rongbak, uh, Mystic Accord Religion, this country here, might also be a nice target. Let's see who they are allied to. This guy. That might actually be a nice easy war. Uh, we could do government reform. Uh, I think we do... Probably meritocratic rule. Goods produced. Or republicanism. Or political dynasties. Can re-elect from ruling family. Yeah, that's kind of cool with uh, Adirion, you know. I think I'll do uh, political dynasties. Let's go. Water shortage here. Once we fully siege them down, we should be able to piece them out. And then it's just... Uh, yeah, it's just easy from there. Then we uh, are not even outnumbered anymore. Um, harpy feathers. Open hunting season. No, we're not gonna... No, no, no. The mages should probably stop. Stupid mages. The Ice Zwir. With Azkir having sounded the call to bring our elven brethren home, we are now realizing the full diversity of their philosophies. One group in particular has begun to coagulate in our elven populace. The Ice Zwir, or Sons of the East. They believe in the right of elven rule and model themselves after Jahair rather than Jarel, like the rest of Azkir. Okay. Their leader has been demanding positions in our government. 10% land? Nah, they're like supremacists. Uh, no, this goes against all our ideals. Nah, -uh. As long as Hyderion lives, we will not allow such things. We are just. We are very just. Okay, let's go there. And there. And these guys, let's see if we can piece them out. Not yet, not yet. That's fine. Could also vassalize them. But I want that gold province, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to straight up annex them. Uh, this one is nice, uh, but I don't want to click it yet. Just waiting, waiting, waiting for a siege. Too bad we cannot take aristocratic ideas, because... Um, we do have the option of uh, getting some nice cav combat ability. Plutocratic seems nice though. Seems apt. Ah, it no longer gives uh, the Republican uh, stuff. Tradition. Republican tradition. Will you give up yet? No. Oh. No, you will not. Sad. I wonder, what does infrastructure plus plutocratic do? Plutocratic. Oh, that's aristocratic. It shows there. Uh, I would like to keep my military advisor, please. Uh, where is... Infrastructure? Oh, there. Provincial trade power plus 25%. That's pretty good. I think that's going to be my first uh, idea combination. Plutocratic plus infrastructure. Okay, we want another siege. So let's see how they do now. They still don't want to give up. So I guess we're going after them. We're going to go down south. We're going to smack them up. They still don't have Miltec 4, so that's good. Let's go. Looks like a Cap Capte Teleni here uh, had the same idea as me and went after Rongbeck. By the way, uh, I do want to start building a spy network on them. Well, there's the first army. We're attacking them in the hills. It's a bit dangerous because there are other armies right there. Do you reckon we'll win? 
Do you reckon we will win? Uh, can I piece you out, please? For no money? No? How about you? Can I just piece the whole thing out? No. Okay, we'll do it. Let's just go for it. I think we could win. There are hills. Oh, oh, that's going well. Oh, stack wipe. And now, um, Hyderian is a cruel tactician. Doesn't really fit him. But 10% morale damage is really good. So, uh, that's fine, really. Also, uh, this, I, I noticed they have attrition for enemies, plus one. As tradition, which is good for them, but a bit annoying. Thieves Guild in Azkare. Well, we do have generous quest rewards. And that's annoying. Okay, they are now uh, very unenthusiastic. Will you still not peace out? Damn. Hardy. I'm going to stop you from training a troop there. No, they are hiring mercenaries, even. Not bad for a chump. Okay, let's go before they uh, actually hire the mercenaries. This grasslands here, so that's good. Pretty exciting battle, but we're winning. Okay, good. And now we go here. Uh, we can do another way of faith. Hmm. None of them are really good. Like, the downsides are so bad. I think I'm going to wait a bit. Don't go anywhere. Okay, go back over there. Okay, they are gone. Okay, I have 95% war score now. Now you better peace out. Right? Yes, thank you. Thank you. We'll take you first. And we'll piece you guys out. Uh, from you, I guess I'll just take war reps and money. Uh, I guess I siege a little bit more. Let's hope they are going to go kill these uh, separatists for us. It looks like they are. Yep. <laughs> nice. Still trying to get some mercenaries, which they will have next month. But that's not going to be in time. They unconditionally surrendered as well. Okay, 100 ducats. Good. Let's return home. And let's peace out the last guy here. For another 50 ducats as well. Very good. Uh, we do have some coring to do. Uh, actually, can I... Oh, no, you cannot do that in Aminar. Um, steel development from uh, territories. I already talked about that in my Keterata video. Okay, we need to rival some new guys. Uh, not Honsai, though. Bim Lao is definitely a rival. Um, other than that, uh, I guess these guys, because they're going to take over our other expansion route. Yeah, okay. We have 92 power projection, which is really good. Um, we have all these missions completed. Uh, these two we will click for prestige. And we will now also click this one, I think. I'm going to do Hyderian's Contemplation. I think uh, we're going to uh, sit and think for a few years. That's what it comes down to. Um, let's wait until we are fully reinforced. We can do one tick of drilling. Good. Let's do that. And let's reduce our maintenance. We don't have any forts higher than level 1, which is a bit dangerous when you are on low maintenance. Guess we can also go after someone like this. Uh, you, Dwarf Lords, you have a bunch of vassals, huh? Interesting. What are your traditions? May fabricate claims for subjects. Oh, okay. So they are uh, the, the dwarf, the mountain dwarf kings. 
and rule those outside. That's kind of interesting. What are you? A flock. The hunt out of your harpies, okay. Uh, some internal wars going on in uh, one Sha up here. These are Shakens, kind of like daimyos, I think. In uh, vanilla EU4, I can seize land also. Uh, it's probably best to wait until we finish coring all this and then state it up, because then we can get way more money from selling titles. Although I'm not even sure if we want to sell titles because it might be better just to get an extra monarch point generation going. We could do that now actually. Clergy, yeah. Let's do. Let's get the uh, monarch point here. And let's just um, summon the diet. Actually, it will make everyone loyal. And we'll do the adventurers. Ah, it's annoying. We do have to increase autonomy somewhere. Because we need them over 60 loyalty to get the lady mission. Oh, but we also need... Hmm. Those to be cores. Okay, so let's take this mission, but not increase the autonomy there yet. We'll wait for these to be cores. Then we'll increase autonomy over here. Which is gonna hurt a bit, but it's gonna be fine. And then we will... Uh, yeah, get the lady mission. The lady Mia Saitai. I assume it's uh, going to be Hyderion's lover or something. And he's too busy contemplating for now. Yeah. So what does it cost to hire one general? 65. Mm -hmm. Can I remove Ways of Faith? Because then I'll just remove this one when I need to and just put it back immediately after hiring. Oh, but then I don't get the plus two shock. Ah, uh, yeah. That is a bit silly. Uh, sure, you can have some military access. We can get innovativeness on tech five, but uh, I don't see the point yet. Oh, uh, but now that everyone's loyal, we should siege land. Yeah, that we should. It's going to improve our income a bit again. We can fabricate a claim on this guy who has one province left. And I think we'll go after him straight away. Before someone else does. So let's do this like so. Go down here. And we'll wait until January. Or whatever it's called in this universe. Get a nice new grasslands province. Or actually... Actually... I'll probably vassalize them. Because then we get cores. We get reconquests on these two guys. Yes. And it will also be better on the map. The Mystic Accord. Goods produced. Not bad. Okay, wonderful. I think that's enough morale. Uh, um, yeah, we'll do just that. Go in. Please wipe them. Yes, okay. It's a level 1 fort. So we'll just remove everyone. Except these four guys. They could go to... The great city, Asker. Okay, good. Let's state both of these. Good, and let's then... Wait another month. And then we can... Oh, no, we cannot do it while at war, but we will be reducing autonomy everywhere soon. We now have 15 force limit. That's pretty good. And we're making a decent bit of money as well while at war. Gold gives us uh, 1.32 now. I will take the mercantilism, please. Bomb pikes and yan conscripts. What's our um, technology group anyway? Halesi. Okay. We are helpless at ha halting harpy hunts. Harpy flocks have descended upon unsuspecting farmers and villagers and taken what they can. They will fly over walls and into castles and temples, take whatever gold, gems and able-bodied men they can put their talons on. The harpies have looted and devastated the Fakfon area. Okay, and we just got a casus belly on... Wow. Holy shit. Everything is devastated. That's like my capital area they hit as well, so... 
these bloody harpies from here, they just came in and just wrecked me. And they're a vassal under this massive kingdom up here. Damn. Okay. I don't like harpies anymore. We are also going to get some separatists soon. Let's go wait for them. Uh, in the meantime, we will um, take all your money, all your 15 ducats, and make you a vassal. Thank you. Also, we will force the religion. Yep. Okay. Send. Good. Uh, you're going to hate us for a while, but we're just going to improve relation, and it will all be good. I'll uh, already put you on supportive as well. Let's build one extra cab and one extra infantry as we wait for these 8k to spawn. Oh, also, um, reduce, 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 reduce. Very good. Force limit of 18 now. And even way more money. Now making three ducats at full maintenance. We are becoming slightly competitive here with uh, these guys. If you look at our armies. See if any uh, anyone else has noticed that and wants to be friends. Okay, Kudet Kai here wants to be a friend. Oh, there come the separatists. Ah, oh, and they fucking... Oh no, they didn't kill my calf. Okay, good. Boom, let's ruin them. Great. And these guys... Also fine. Um, mm -hmm. I think I will recruit two more infantry. Go up to 14. Should I spawn Renaissance? Is anyone else going to do it? Hmm. I do start with dev calls, don't I? And I get it at the end. Hmm. Uh, let's do siege ability because we don't really have any forts to defend. And let's get rid of uh, these. Let's provoke them. You are provoked. And then we will go kill him. Uh, internal migration of harpy minority. Fine. Fine. At least these harpies are not looting. And let's move these guys to Ascare. We will have them reinforce. And then we'll probably... Um, let's get Hyderion off of there so he doesn't die. Uh, should I have them drill? Or should I just make money? I think what I'll do is I'll get a general... Oh, another really good general. 352. Chok Buakai. Buakai. Okay, let's have him drill. I think that's good. Ooh. Amareus of the Cresting Phoenix. Having been rejected by the Shia on account of her elven blood, Amareus, the longtime martial arts master of the Nak Nakriban, has come to us with a proposal. They believe that, through their leadership, a new era of elven martial arts can be born in Ascare. It is a testament to Amareus' skill that he has already managed to build a small following. And with the proper support from the state, who knows what they can accomplish. Nice. We get 10 army tradition and uh, a cool advisor. Very nice. Actually, let's get another advisor. I want an admin guy. Um, and I think I will take the all-power cost guy, because that is just overpowered. It also makes this cheaper. But we're not taking that one yet. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Oh, we need to improve relations with uh, Rongbeck instead of making more spy networks on them. We could also fight the dwarf. He's a benevolent lawgiver, though. I don't feel like uh, Hyderion would have much issue with him, but he, he doesn't like me. He doesn't like me. Let's build a spy network over there. Let's see what's going on in the mountain. 
Only two development in gold, and I'm already making like, what, two ducats out of it. It's beautiful, really. Oh, before I forget. Ah, they're too low again. Eat. That's annoying. And we'll have to sell titles. I need to get, the, get them up to 50. And then I need to complete this mission. I mean, we have lots of time to do it. So they'll get up there. But... And Nobleman of Adventures would also be good. There is a chill fog over the citadel of the dawn in the dark hours before sunrise. Hyderion has left his most capable advisors in charge while he readies his horse for the narrow road to the deep north and places rich in wisdom. He shoulders his pack, draws his cloak, and sets out shrouded. In the weeks that follow, he sees the many wonders of Shia and the upper Yan Shen. He crosses the river bridge into the Liu Bao, from which an empire of squabbling masters is managed. He walks the lines of the many mustering fields of Bianfang, where Ironheart discipline is instilled into the Yanshe peasantry. Hyderian even makes a journey up to Mount Tugayasa, to where the oracles see across all Halles, all the twisting bonds and connections that link the ancient continent. Of all the places he has seen, one sticks in his mind as he meditates in the garden upon his return. Shall I make him a lawgiver? Shall I make him careful? Or shall I make him an inspiring leader? Inspiring leader. There's no question. As another 5% army morale? Yes, please. And with that, guys, we are now 10 years into the game. This seems like a, an apt moment to end it for now. I uh, really hope you enjoyed this episode and that you are looking forward to the next one as much as I am looking forward to making that for you. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment, do all the YouTube stuff. It would really help me out growing my channel. And especially if you like more Ambinar stuff, there's a lot more of that stuff coming, guys. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching, and peace out. Mm -hmm.